And we're going to get started. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. If you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If not, that's also fine. Um, we're going to be doing yin today. And um, I'm so glad all of you are here. And let me think of what I was. And so start moving down. I'm going to go ahead and play the gong softly. Track the breath as it moves through your body. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. <clears throat> that intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. C 
seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arm, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room, sitting up on your bolster, flexing your feet. And again, aligning all of your chakras, your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, sacral, and root. <clears throat> shoulders back and down as you're sitting up. Open up your hearts to the front of the room. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right side. Again, drag your shoulders back and down and then drag that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers, breathing in and out. Again, in twisted dandasanas, twi twisted staff pose. <clears throat> Opening up those right obliques, releasing any toxins that you may be holding there. because I feel like I've been running around for about a week now, obviously, or maybe two weeks. <clears throat> and I haven't been able to hike, although it's been very hot anyway. Um, but that is something that I just can't wait to get back to doing, is hiking. I absolutely adore being outside without anyone around. Such a wonderful feeling. Inhale back to center. And exhale as you open to the left. Drag that right elbow down. Outside of your left knee. Again, make mudras with both sets of fingers. Drag those shoulders back and down. Breathing in and out. And Cyril went with um, his cousins to um, Hieroglyphic Canyon yesterday. And I know that it was wonderful. It was pretty hot. But they had a wonderful time. Such a sacred place. Oh my gosh. And his cousin who teaches Pilates, who used to dance for the Opera of Paris, She's amazing, and she's in fa fabulous shape. She said that she came to her knees right before she got to the site because there was so much energy at the site, and it is just filled with sacred energy. <clears throat> I've done that too, actually. Right before I got there, I all of a sudden just couldn't go any further and it's it's interesting I don't know um, that's for another time dragging your shoulders back and down it's only it's only maybe two miles I think it's one mile in and one mile back so it's not a long hike it's not a difficult hike it's absolutely amazing when you get there but the best part is 
being able to see the waterfalls and, and obviously the um, petroglyphs. <clears throat> but if it hasn't rained, there isn't any water there, so it's not quite as spectacular. Inhale back to center. Exhale, reach, 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 flat back. Hinge at your hips all the way down. Again, let's go ahead and place our hands on the mat on either side of our legs. Inhale halfway up to make some space. And exhale down, chin to shin. And then just curl in. Take two more deep breaths here in Dandasana. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back. Exhale as you bend your left knee, dragging your left heel to your sit bone. Flex your right foot. Inhale both arms all the way up and exhale down again. Reach, 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 reach. Hinge at the hips, chin to shin, and then just curl in. Again, in half dandasana. If you feel that you're very flexible today, maybe grab onto the sole of your foot. Place your shin on your, your chin on your shin. And then drag those shoulders back and down for a deeper stretch. But wherever you are is perfect. And breathing in and out.
slowly inhale as you walk your hands back again. Exhale as you draw that right knee to your left knee. Twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. And exhale as you walk those hands forward, placing your right cheek on the block. Again, twisting your hips, your spines, your shoulders, and your neck. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, dragging your right heel towards your sit bone. Flex that left, <coughs> left foot. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Chin to shin. And then just curl in. Again, in half dandasana. Breathing in and out. Seal, which is exciting. I'm going to be really happy to be on that. That'll be wonderful with Andrea. And then on Thursday, we have uh, Reverend Sue Frederick, who's going to be talking about her book that just is coming out, um, I think this 27th of June, called Through a Divine Lens. It's a republication, but it's got a lot of new stories in it. Very interesting. And one of the stories is a past life regression that I did with her. So on Thursday, I'll be talking about that past life regression with her, <clears throat> which was pretty amazing.
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as we draw that left knee to your right knee. Twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. And exhale as you walk your hands forward. <clears throat> Again, this is a Tibetan bowl meditation. Let's see if you can hear it. Hopefully you can. Imagine that white light rising through your root, to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat. white light, <clears throat> healing all those around you.
as far as you can. Fingertips come down, hearts come down. Again, in humbly bowing, half lotus. Dragging our hearts down towards our mats. Open them up as we do. And again, maybe place your third eye on the mat. My light just went out. And this song is coming on again. It's not on my playlist. I love it. Inhale. 
inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the left, grabbing onto that left knee with your right hand. Draw that left hand back, <clears throat> or possibly. I'm sorry, I fixed you guys up. That song really <laughs> fixed me up. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this side again. I'm sorry. Draw that left hand back. Or maybe take a bind if you have put the right foot on the, the left foot on your right thigh. Come back to center. Actually, I think I did it right for you. I just crossed my legs
so I'm sure that that um, beautiful song was meant not just for me, but for Galen from Weston and Morgan. I think they were just saying that they're together. I have to show you at the end of this practice, I'll put my playlist up to the screen so you can see. I'm actually kind of blown away by all of this. Also, I just want to say that during the wedding, one of our photographers told us that when my daughter mentioned Morgan and Michael's brother Patrick, sparkles started sparkling in the sky behind and I was so concentrated on my daughter's bail that it was, it was about to fall off, so I wasn't really watching. So I can't wait to see that and maybe post it. Inhale, that left arm up, exhale down. Inhale, that right arm all the way up. And exhale down, good job. Let's do the other side. Inhale, that left arm all the way up. Exhale, as you fold under, coming down onto that left shoulder, keep your hip, hips squared to the front of the room. Inhale, that right arm up, bend your elbow, find that left hip crease and breathe. Again, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale that right arm up, exhale down. Inhale that left arm all the way up and exhale down. Good job. Curl your toes under, sit back on your heels and again, possibly make infinity symbols with your wrists. We're going to open up our toes in yin today just a bit. We won't be in this position for quite as long. always something that's really good to do for our feet. <clears throat> Again, draw those arms overhead if you'd like to. Draw your pelvis bone in, shoulders back and down, or maybe behind you. Fingertips touch, pushing your fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads. Five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows and slap on your toes. And then from here, let's go ahead and plant the palms of our hands into the mat, curl your toes under, and then exhale back to our first Ardha Mukha Downward Facing Dog. And again, dragging your hearts towards your thighs, shoulders go back and down your backs, planting that area between your index finger and thumb into the mat, keeping your wrists safe, maybe walking the dog, lifting first one heel and then the other, dragging the other heel down towards the mat. And then inhale that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog split. And exhale as you swing it to the top left of your mat, right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. 
again, you're welcome to take Venus Mudra, but we're in yin today, so don't feel like you have to. And then walk those hands forward as far as you can. Maybe you're on your elbows. Maybe you're on, <clears throat> you should be on your left cheek if you can in a full body twist. You can also be on your right cheek. You can also be on your backs if that is more comfortable today. Working on opening up that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there, letting them fall into the mat, into the floor, into the earth below. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale, that left arm up and around. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs as we do. Remember to breathe. Your breath is your power. And also, after all of these practices, no matter what type of practice it is, you should all always drink lots of water. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Come up to the top of the mat in Malasana in Yogi Squat. Backs of your biceps are just below your knees. Maybe lift your toes. All four corners of your feet are growing into the mat. <clears throat> Hands are at Anjali Mudra. Place your hands just in front of the mat. Inhale halfway up. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come back down. Good exercise. Up and down. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. And exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Place your hands on the mat, inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. To royal pigeon. Again, you can also take Venus Mudra if you'd like. Or follow us. Exhale as you walk forward. Placing that right cheek on the mat. But again, you can have your elbows. You can have your left cheek. You can be on your backs. Wherever you are is perfect. Opening up that left hip this time. Releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. In resting pigeon. And smile. It's Tuesday.
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming off on that left hip, swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in, left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend your legs. Shake it out. Then bend your knees. <clears throat> Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra down to the mat and when you get there draw those knees in for a much deserved hug rock back and forth massage your lower backs and your kidneys place your heels just below your sit bones take your block in hand inhale as you push your hips up placing the block underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels. Again, opening up that lower back region. If you'd like a deeper stretch, maybe walk your feet out. Draw those arms overhead. And again, smile. Draw those arms back, down towards your torso. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing the block on the lowest level. <clears throat> Inhale your legs up above you. Again, flex your feet, breathing in and out. Allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. And smile, it's Tuesday. So much wonderful energy. Inhale first, exhale as you bend your knees, placing your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, <clears throat> releasing the block and exhale down. Good job. Draw those knees in for a hug. Then cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the left. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. <clears throat> Again, <clears throat> twisting, releasing toxins right before we finish. Inhale those knees back to center. Unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale down to the right. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. Inhale, back to center. 
unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your noses, sigh it out. Inhale. One more time, inhale. It's fitting that we end on this song. It should have been in the place. Mm. Maybe make mudras with both sets of fingers. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes. Maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yin yoga with me today on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. I will be ringing the gong. the recording but <laughs> um let me go ahead and stop the recording let's see